Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. We frequently receive messages asking about connecting a GoPro to a YOLO box, and many of our members report encountering various issues when linking the two devices. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect a GoPro to a YOLO box using both wired and wireless methods. I'll cover how to get a clean HDMI output, discuss potential issues that may arise during setup, and provide a brief overview of GoPro's performance in live streaming. By the way, if you want to dive deeper into the ideal GoPro settings for live streaming, I recommend checking out Aaron Parecki's video, which you can find linked in the upper left corner. Right now I have a GoPro Hero 7, a GoPro Hero 11, a YOLO Box Ultra, and a YOLO Box Pro on hand. Additionally, I'll be using a media mod and a micro HDMI to HDMI cable for this setup. Before we dive into the connection methods, it's important to understand which ports on the devices support connections. First, let's look at the YOLO Box Ultra and YOLO Box Pro. Both models have HDMI input, USB-A input, and USB-C ports that can receive camera signals, with HDMI input being the most commonly used for this purpose. One thing to note is that the maximum resolution and frame rate supported by the USB ports is 1080p at 60fps. Next, let's take a look at the two GoPro cameras. We're using two GoPros because the models before the Hero 8 and those after the Hero 8 have different built-in port configurations. The GoPro Hero 7, which is a model prior to the Hero 8, includes a built-in HDMI port for outputting camera signals. However, the GoPro Hero 11 doesn't have a built-in HDMI port. Instead, it has a USB-C port, which can't directly output camera signals and is mainly for charging and data transfer. We need to use an external HDMI port, specifically the media mod, which provides a micro HDMI port. With the media mod attached, we can then transmit the GoPro's camera signal to the YOLO box. Additionally, it's important to note that if GoPro is connected to YOLO box via a wired connection, I won't be able to see the lens on the GoPro, only on the YOLO box. The method for connecting a GoPro Hero 7 is straightforward. Now I can see on the GoPro's display that it has entered media mode. I simply go into the Preferences menu, select the Input Output settings, and set the HDMI output to Live. You only need an HDMI cable. Connect one end to the GoPro's HDMI port and the other end to the YOLO box. That's it. The GoPro's feed will now appear on the YOLO box. Since GoPro models after the Hero 8 no longer have a built-in HDMI port, we'll need to use the Media Mod, which provides a micro HDMI port. Step 1 is connecting the cables. Make sure the GoPro is powered off during this process, as trying to connect while it's on may result in a failed connection. Connecting is simple. Insert the GoPro into the Media Mod, then use a micro HDMI to HDMI cable to link the GoPro and the YOLO box. Once connected, I can power on the GoPro. It will enter media mode again. I have to go to the Preferences menu and look for the Input-Output option, then select Live. If you don't see this option in Preferences, you can skip this step. Finally, press the Mode button on the left side of the camera. Select the camera icon located at the top right of the screen and continue pressing the mode button until the eye icon is highlighted. This configuration will give you a clean HDMI output. Every time we reconnect the HDMI cable, we need to reset the settings. To solve this issue, we can download the GoPro Labs firmware from GoPro.com Labs. The advantage of this firmware is that you can directly scan the QR code in the mobile app using your camera to modify the HDMI settings. There are many tutorials on YouTube explaining how to do this, and you can also click the tutorial link I've provided in the description for a clearer explanation. Additionally, if you're having trouble connecting, check whether the camera's Bluetooth mode is turned off. Having Bluetooth enabled can lead to connection issues. Some users have reported that certain YOLO box ports support GoPro connections, while others do not. 
There are various reasons for this, such as resolution incompatibility. You might want to try changing the camera's resolution or using a different YOLO box port. To set up a wireless connection from a GoPro to the YOLO box Ultra using RTMP, let's first address some potential drawbacks. The primary issue with this setup is latency. Since wireless connections via RTMP naturally introduce some delay, once connected, you'll likely experience a noticeable lag of around 3 to 4 seconds. Another point is that the initial setup can be a bit tedious. When I first input the RTMP URL into YOLOBOX, it didn't respond immediately, so I had to try several times before finally seeing a successful connection. I confirmed that the RTMP server worked by testing it on OBS first, and after several attempts, I managed to bring in the GoPro camera signal as an RTMP source on the YOLO box. This process can require a bit of patience and be sure that your devices support RTMP besides a GoPro with RTMP streaming capabilities and a YOLO box ultra. You'll also need a computer. Note that only YOLO box ultra offers RTMP input. The process requires setting up an RTMP server on your computer, outputting the GoPro signal, and then receiving it on the YOLOBOX Ultra. Since GoPro does not support direct wireless RTMP transmission to YOLOBOX without an RTMP server, we need to set up an RTMP server. If you are using a Windows or Linux system, there are many helpful tutorials available online. My computer runs Mac OS, so I will demonstrate a free RTMP server that is compatible with this system. For those with a similar setup, I've included the download link in the video description. After accessing the link, the first step is to download the relevant software by clicking on the releases page. I downloaded the first four files. Once the download is complete, I went to my downloads folder, extracted the Mac local RTMP server 1.3.0 Mac zip, and then clicked on Mac local RTMP server 1.3.0.dmg to drag the RTMP server into the applications folder. This successfully installed the RTMP server. When I opened the software, I could see an icon in the top menu bar of my computer. Clicking this icon provides the RTMP URL and stream key. Next, let's see how to use this software. Going back to the download page, Initially, I didn't read the instructions carefully and kept inputting the RTMP URL provided by the software into the GoPro. In fact, since I need to send the stream from my GoPro, which is another device on the LAN, I need to input my computer's local IP address instead. Finding your computer's IP address is simple. Just open the Wi-Fi settings, click on the connected Wi-Fi network, and select details to see the IP address. Now let's look at how to output the signal from the GoPro. Open the GoPro app, known as GoPro Quick, on your phone. Click the three dot icon to the right of Hero 11 Black at the top, select Live Stream, and then choose RTMP. Make sure your GoPro, the computer with the RTMP server, and the YOLO box are all connected to the same network. Otherwise, the connection won't work. Then, you need to enter the RTMP URL. Since my computer's IP address is this, I will need to input the RTMP URL accordingly. Note that this part cannot be altered. It consists of the IP address of your device on the network and the live field. The suffix can be anything, as long as it's unique. In other words, if your IP address is 8.8.8.8, you would input RTMP, 8.8.8.8 Live GoPro or RTMP 8.8.8.8 Live Hello World. After entering the RTMP URL, you can adjust the resolution and choose whether to save a copy. Then click Set Up Live Stream and hit Go Live. Once the signal is successfully output, I can receive this device's signal on my RTMP server. Finally, we need to receive this signal on the YOLO Box Ultra. In the video source menu, open the RTMP option. Simply copy and paste the RTMP URL you entered on the GoPro into this section. Then click Done, and you will be able to see the GoPro's live feed on the YOLO box. 
With these steps, you can wirelessly connect your GoPro to the Yolobox Ultra via RTMP, allowing you to view and control the live feed remotely, albeit with some latency. First, let's talk about the latency issue that everyone has been discussing. To minimize latency as much as possible, you can turn off the stabilization feature on the GoPro. Right now, I have a GoPro Hero 11 connected via HDMI. When I wave my hand in front of the lens, uh, we can see a slight delay between the action and what appears on the YOLO box. Now, let's check the latency with a wireless connection. I've connected two devices using RTMP, and when I wave my hand again, there's still a bit of delay, and it's slightly more pronounced than with the HDMI connection. Although there is some delay, I personally don't think it's a significant issue. Next, let's discuss any stuttering issues. In our demonstration, the footage displayed on the YOLO box shows minimal stuttering. If you're experiencing this on your device, you might want to check if your network connection is stable or try changing the resolution. You could also test different ports to see if there's an issue with a specific port. If it's a problem with the YOLO box ports, please contact us for further technical support. The GoPro has an exceptional ultra-wide angle lens, so many of our users use it to capture panoramic views of events. Clarity of the lens is often a concern for users. Now let's compare the clarity of the GoPro lens with that of the Sony camera lens. Although the GoPro's lens performance is still a bit behind traditional cameras, it is suitable for usage scenarios where the picture quality is not too demanding. Regarding audio, many users have reported that the built-in audio of the GoPro is sufficient. If you want your GoPro to capture ambient sound but aren't sure how to choose, based on our user feedback, we recommend using Rode directional microphones, Synco wireless microphones, and the MediaMod microphone for capturing ambient sound, with the MediaMod microphone being the most effective. If you still have doubts about whether your GoPro is suitable for Yolobox live streaming, I can share some feedback and setups from our users. Mauricio shared in our Facebook community that he sometimes uses the GoPro Hero 7, which performs excellently for small remote shooting scenarios. The Hero 10 and Hero 12 also deliver great results, providing good image quality for both panoramic and close-up shots, and settings can be adjusted as needed. Additionally, our users have reported that the connection quality of the GoPro Hero 5, 8, 9, and 11 is also good, with no issues encountered. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 133058 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 133058 Thank you for watching this video.